So right now I have Judith here with me, the store manager of the Paper Place, who is going to show us how to construct these lovely papers into something really pretty like these pretty roses. So Judith, what kind of materials would we need to use to construct something like this? For these flowers, uh, I've used Japanese rayon tissue, which we have an extensive collection of, which are available to see on our website. The tissue is this long, and I've cut it into four pieces. So that's about five inches, and that'll make the flowers that are this size. If you wanted to make them smaller or larger, you simply would just modify this piece. You need some floral wire and some floral tape. And the first step would just be to, to fold that in half, not to crease it, but just enough so that you can grab that in your hand like that. And you're gonna take about four inches of that, again, a soft fold. You're going to bring that down to create a triangle. Then, working with a little bit at a time, again, you're gonna fold that in half. Don't worry about it being perfect. It's not going to be perfect and you don't want it to be. So then with your right hand, you're going to, this is going to be the part that's going to act as your stem. And you're just gonna start rolling. And with this hand, you're gonna keep the tail sort of folded in that shape. You're gonna roll it around that stem. So there I've created just a little piece, the center of the oh, butt. I can sort of see yeah, it coming already. It's already there. <laughs> And then to create the, the petals and the irregularity of the flower, you want to be messy. So you're going to, you're going to just kind of flip that paper around and just keep folding. And the more you push it out... Again, soft folds, not soft. Creases. Yeah, no creases. You're just kind of gathering it around the center and pinching it at the bottom there. And every time it starts to look too regular, just flip that paper around and you'll get those peaks out of it. The looser you are and the more you sort of, you see I pushed that right out, the more you're going to get a big flower. Y you'll certainly be relieved to know that, you know, you can work really quickly with this because if you're making hundreds of them, uh, you don't want it to be something you have to um, labor over for hours. And that this is where the floral wire comes in. So you're going to take that and just where you've been pinching this whole time, you're going to secure it by wrapping it around a few times. And that's, that's what will make the flower stay in that place. That will make the flower stay in place. Okay. And then um, this long piece here is your stem, which is floppy, but that's where the tape comes in. You don't really need that much of it because it does stretch. It's not particularly sticky, mm -hmm. but it will stick to the work. And you're gonna start right up there at the top. You're just gonna take the floral tape and just twist and twist and twist. First, you're gonna be covering up the tail end of that tissue. So I've, I've just made my way, partial way down the wire. Mm -hmm. You can see you could keep going, right. but that just makes it look more realistic and also stiffens up the wire so that it'll stand mm -hmm. and make an arrangement. Beautiful. It's really easy and really beautiful. Thank you, Judith. Thank you.